So thanks for joining us for Live at 9 this morning. Her style has been called both fiery and elegant, a high-octane violinist whose playing sends the pulse racing. That it does. Jennifer Coe is an award-winning, Grammy-nominated artist. She's also known for her innovative outreach programs in schools all across the country. And she's here in Memphis to play with the Iris Orchestra. And conductor Michael Stern is here with us this morning as well. Jennifer, Michael, welcome Good to Live at Night. To Good to morning. see you both. Good Jennifer, I know this is not the first time for you uh, to be here in Memphis. What has the experience been like for you uh, in past? Um, it was lovely. I, I went for a lot of barbecues. That's what I a remember. A lot of barbecues. <laughs> so yeah. talked about that. <laughs> That's it. Um, and it, it, it was wonderful to meet um, all the kind of local people, and I saw kind of the dif different local sites, which was nice. Mm -hmm. We were also talking a little bit earlier, as you heard in the introduction, about uh, your style of, uh, of playing has been called, you know, fiery, elegant, high octane, you name it. What kind of goes through your mind in the process of when you hit the stage? Uh, what are you thinking about and what do you try to do with the performance? I, I think I'm just thinking about the music. And if if the music is really fiery, then then you put yourself out there. It's it's I think one of the great things about um, that I find about being a musician and being a classical musician is that it's a really visceral art form. So um, even before you can kind of find the words to describe mm -hmm. a certain you know emotion, uh, the music is right there to to mm -hmm. communicate it. Well, Jennifer, tell us, uh, tell me at least, uh, when did you get started playing, um, and and how did your love for the violin start? Um, I started playing in Suzuki, actually, and you start with a hair curler and a ruler and um, a Cracker Jack box. Just that simple. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like most of us. <laughs> and that's how it started, actually. Um, uh, but, you know, I grew up outside of Chicago, so I went to listen to Chicago Symphony a lot and, and Lyric Opera, which was also in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So um, that was kind of a part of, of our, our, my, my, my childhood, actually. Wow. Michael, uh, to bring you in here, this is a major coup, having uh, Jennifer here. <laughs> kind of tell us about how all this kind of came together. Well, Jennifer and I have known each other for a long time. We've been friends, I don't know, too many <laughs> decades, actually. <laughs> uh, and she's an artist I've always admired. We've worked together before. She's this kind of intrepid spirit, you know, fearless with old music and Bach and Mozart and the newest music, contemporary music, everything in between, um, with this kind of sort of, like she said, visceral sense of mm -hmm, excitement mm -hmm. and discovery when she plays. And that is really what the Iris Orchestra has always been about. You know, we started this group 10 years ago. We're about to conclude our 10th season. Nobody would have believe that we'd wow. still be around mm -hmm. um, and looking forward to starting our second decade next next October and in the interim in all these years we've had a really impressive and stellar list of soloists I think who are you know some of the great names that you've heard of Yo-Yo Ma, Manuel Axe, Gil Shaham, Joshua Bell and people who are you know on the cutting edge of new repertoire uh, people that no one ever heard of before when mm -hmm. they first came here Yuja Wang this young pianist who came and played here. Nobody knew who she was. Now she's recording for Deutsche Grammophon and playing all over the world. So we have this history of bringing really interesting, different kinds of musicians to come play with us. And Jenny, of course, is at the top of that list. All right, Jennifer, uh, would you do us the favor Please. to give us just a sample of what we're talking about right here? Of course. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Beautiful. Magnificent. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Michael, I do also have to ask you, uh, some other huge, huge artists are also coming as well, are they not? Well, for our next season, um, Yefim Bronfman, one of the great pianists in the world, is coming back to us. We decided to celebrate the beginning of our second decade by bringing back some of the people who had been um, who had had singular success with us, who had been really important over the 10 years, who had played with us. So, um, Yefim Bronfman, Augustin Hedlich, wow. a wonderful young violinist mm -hmm. who won the 2006 Indianapolis International Violin Competition. Um, we're partnering for the first time with the Tennessee Shakespeare Company. Um, Alon Goldstein, a wonderful young okay. Israeli violinist, and of course, the great Yo-Yo Ma, who actually was the first soloist who ever appeared with the Iris Orchestra 10 years ago. And so we thought it was a lovely way to mark the beginning of that mm -hmm. second decade by bringing him back. He and I have been friends for 46 years, and he promised to come in every 10 years, he said. He's going to launch every decade with us, which is a kind of a cute way to put it. Um, we're delighted to have him and all the other soloists and, uh, and show that there's a lot of music in Memphis, and it's not just barbecue. That right. is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Michael Stern, thank you very much. Jennifer Coe, thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. Very thank you. pleased to have you both yes. here. Thank you. We really are. There's your information about the Iris Orchestra featuring Jennifer Coe, a live performance Saturday at 8 o'clock. Yes, at the Germantown Performing Arts Center. Of course, if you want tickets, just call the number that you see on the screen. All right. Get ready, coming up next, Lisa Lambert, and uh, she has some friends with her as well. Yes, the Pine Ridge Boys. Stay with us.